I feel like this is our own rendition of tractor pulling. Sometimes less is more, and sometimes more is more. <laughs> what? That's an idea. Elma. Elma's water is froze this morning. And <laughs> he makes it very hard. Yes, I know. I just want to lick you. I just, I'm trying to see if there's more milk in your elbow, Mom. No, there's no more milk there. There's no more milk there, baby. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, bug. Nothing like using a metal twitch to bust ice, but hey, it works. Smoking! <laughs> good morning, Panda. Can you tell everybody good morning? Yes, yes I can. All right. Drive on, driver. Try not to choke out. Well, it appears that this might be the driest we get to see it for a while. Another possible inch or more of rain coming in. Oh, happy day. <laughs> oh. oh man, I was gonna bring up saw and I forgot again, but one day, I I'm gonna remember one day. I told him that his answers and him talking more was welcome. I'm reading some of the comments and there's, he just asked what they were saying. I said, they liked hearing from you. They liked your answers. They want to hear more. What do you say about that? Hello? He got in a fight last night. He said he needed stitches, but he's going with a band-aid instead. Any words of wisdom today? No. Not feeling very talkative? No. Okay, maybe later. So someone had asked about our bean hay. Yes, we've been feeding our bean hay and they wanted to know what it looked like on the inside. So there you go. It, um, yeah, it's been doing good. We're almost out. <laughs> Not sure what plan B is yet, but we'll figure it out. So at the rate we're feeding hay right now, it looks like we're gonna be out in the next few weeks, probably. I seriously doubt we'll make it through February. Um, yeah, not 100% sure what we're doing. He thinks he's found some elsewhere, hopefully. I don't know how much though, so. We'll see. We were pretty sure this was gonna happen. We just didn't get enough hay made last year. So, that's the way it goes. We have secured some more river bottom on an adjoining farm that we're going to be able to, to um, raise some more hay on this year. So that is good, but I hear ya. That land has not been worked in a long time and it's going to need to be worked before it can be seeded. And so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> hopefully next year we'll have access to more hay. And hopefully we don't have a very wet spring where we can actually get in the fields, get them worked, get them planted, and, and get some hay off of them. So... Like he said in our last video, we're, we're always at the mercy of the weather. So, here's hoping. And he's spinning again. Spinning wheels, spinning wheels. That's what we do really good around here lately. Right, babies? Where's my feed? It's coming, girls. It's 
coming. <laughs> oh, and here we are again. Spinning his way out. And hers. Good girl. You done it. You're doing it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, the boys are hard at it. Got some wood. Good little stacker. <laughs> Y'all helping? No. It's only spit a little bit so far, but <laughs> the radar shows up really big swath. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with coming through. So I guess we'll be feeding in the rain today. I don't think we'll be singing, but we'll be feeding. Coming Elmo. Hey little monkey. You rats for some milk? Yes, please. Getting to the bottom of the bag, Elmo. Not many more bottles to go. You're gonna have to start eating more of your feed. What do you smell, Clara? You smell a mousy? Could be. Soak up the tail wag, y'all. There won't be many more to come. <laughs> That's it, little buddy. Yeah, sweet boy. That's all she wrote. Mmm, look at that milk. <laughs> oh wait, no, I hear another swallow. Excuse me. You gotta get the last drop. Now, that's it, that's it. How's your water this morning? It's not froze for a change. We're in the upper 30s. And you still got feed. All right. You better start liking that feed a little better. I'm gonna beef you up. See what I did there? <laughs> you ready to feed in the rain? Huh? Have to be. Have to be, yeah. Here it comes. Right in time. Right on time. <sighs> hey, Bonnie, tell everybody how you lost those toofies. How did you lose those toofies? Grab a hold of something to knock them out. Knock them out. <laughs> yeah. Back in my younger days, I wasn't very bright. And I went after horses. And I got under gators and I got run over. And why is there a little black and white doggy out? I did put her up. She escaped. How'd she escape? Somebody let her out. Oh. No, Clara, you can't go. <laughs>
mud just didn't want to stay away, did it? It's uh, liable to be pretty soupy tomorrow again. Oh well, so it goes. Pandas getting hay. <laughs> Eat up, fluffy butts. Look out. Coming through. Might crank without the battery today. I mean, without <laughs> without jumping her. This is a little bit warmer. It's uh, like around 40 as opposed to 24. Yeah. Oh. Come on, girl. There we go. Good deal. Oh, one last thing to do in the rain. Oh, I know some of y'all were wondering about that silage wagon tire. It ended up sealing, right? Yeah. You didn't have to patch it. Very good, very good. Well, I know a lot of y'all liked hearing more from the farmer in the last video. He's not been very talkative the last couple of mornings. <laughs> You know the saying, you you can squeeze a turnip, but you can't get blood from it. But I'll keep squeezing. We'll see. We'll see what little tiny bits of Lawrence-isms come out. I'll try to catch him. Typically, he talks when I don't have a camera on. I need like a dash cam. Just need a dash cam. It stays on. We require a lot of editing, but it's an idea. It's an idea. Hear that sound, y'all? Can you hear it? Rain on a tin roof. It's definitely one of my favorite sounds, and I'm so glad we have a metal roof on our house now. It's my fave. Unless I have to feed in it. <laughs> it's not my fave. Here we go, kids. Just a, just a light drizzle. It's not too bad. Mom. Well, the smoke coming off, it's like they're getting a hot breakfast. <laughs> and of course the rain lets up until I actually need to be out here standing in it. Come on girl, you can do it. Our own rendition of tractor pulling. <laughs> Something like that. Well, y'all, it's birthday weekend, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A little girl I know is turning 10. You know you're wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. She's turning nine in two days. But it's going to be a whole weekend of festivities. We're waiting on her little friend to meet us. We're gonna take her home. She's gonna stay not one night, but two nights. Tomorrow, your granddad and grandma. And? An aunt. Yeah, are coming up. My daddy. My daddy and my stepmom and my aunt. And we're gonna celebrate. And then Sunday is her actual birthday and we'll celebrate. So, we just went to the grocery store, got a big haul. Of cake and cupcakes. Cake, ice cream. Cupcakes, ice cream. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. Slim gems. Slim gems. All the things that one needs to have a good birthday Especially weekend. Especially root beer. And root beer. This child likes root beer. I'm not big on root beer, but both my kids love it. So that's cool. So yeah, that's what we're doing. All right. I'm sure everybody's going to say happy birthday, Austin. So say thank you. Thank you. Your breath stinks. Because it's, 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 like it's, it's, it's mild. It's mild. It's not very mild. It's not very mild. Come next. <sighs> in other news, while I'm sitting in the Wendy's parking lot 
chomping on Tostitos. Y'all check out this amazing vest that my friends at Ariat sent me. They sent it to me. I love it. It's super soft, super comfy, perfect layer. So check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. You or your wife needs one. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Okay. That's the only commercial this time, I think. Subscribe and oh, like. Subscribe and like. I didn't tell her to say that, but I I might leave it in. Maybe they'll listen to you because you're cute. <laughs> also, it's still raining. Actually, it stopped, but it's really coming in now for the rest of the night probably. So that's going to be fun in the morning. Yay. Sitting across from the tractor place. New Holland. There's a free commercial. <laughs> no, they're good folks. Hi. Right. You don't get any mustache. Look <laughs> how you eat a cupcake if you have a mustache. <laughs> or if you don't have a mustache. Or if you don't have a mustache. <laughs> you take the bottom off and put it on the top and put the icing in the middle. Who ever heard of such? Crazy talk. Well, the sun's shining. But only after it rained an inch and two tenths or so. It's probably going to be fun this morning, right? Yep. <laughs> Mud and the blood. Mud and the blood. Hopefully no blood. Unless I hit my head. girls he's been feeding them over there on the fence line but it's just too muddy so coming back over here <laughs> y'all are figuring it out yeah Woo! feeling a little spunky <laughs> tails up oh got our little babies the late ones getting it though getting it <laughs> Wait for me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Austin. Happy birthday to you. 
Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you something really quick that I do a lot and my daughter has requested it for supper tonight and since it's birthday weekend, I'm obliging. In fact, I love when they give me ideas period because I tend to run out of them. So tonight we're having stir fry. I used to use beef tips for this and they still work fine, but lately I've been using cube steak. Yes, cube steak. And if I've showed this before on here, I don't remember, so I'm showing it again. Anyway, I just take cube steak, cut it up into bite-sized pieces, put seasoned salt on it, fry it. Well, I mean, yeah, I put it in the skillet, so I guess I'm frying it. I'm not battering it and frying it. I'm just, like, sauteing it in butter. And uh, then add a bag of frozen stir-fry mix and some rice and call it good. So, that's what we're doing. So, this cube steak's been in the refrigerator thawing out. It's still partially frozen, which is actually lovely because then it's easy to cut. I'm totally doing this with one hand, which isn't working. Mm. I gotta get one of those little foldable stands or something. I think they make them. Anyway, we're gonna cut all that up. Then we're gonna put seasoned salt on it. Then we're gonna cook it. And we're gonna try not to cut oneself. So I really need to look at this and not the camera. As far as I'm concerned, there's absolutely nothing that seasoned salt can't make better. Okay. Whatever. Sometimes less is more and sometimes more is more. I do actually use olive oil sometimes too. Oh, and I just fling it everywhere. Happy y'all, happy butter. Like, happy trees. Bob Ross, except not really. I feel, like, I feel like I have shown this on here recently, but, oh well. All right, so this is gonna cook, and that is gonna cook, and sometimes I make rice, like real rice, and sometimes I make rice from a box. It's actually kind of mixed with pasta, I think. Whatever vermicelli is, I'm not really sure. We've had this discussion when we've eaten it before. It doesn't look like real rice. It looks like pasta rice, but whatever. Pasta, rice, it's all good. It's all good together. So, rice a -roni. It's not paying me for this ad. <laughs> but, still good. Okay, when the meat's about done, I just combine it with the veggies and let them cook down a little bit more. And then wait. What's this? more butter? Yes, because I have to mix this with butter, which makes it not bad. So that might have been a wee bit more butter than was called for, but can you ever have too much butter? I mean, really? Mm -mm. True story, this might be enough boxed rice to feed an army. And there's five of us, but whatever, it'll keep. Or the dogs will eat good. <laughs> That's it, y'all. That's all you gotta do. And voila, all done. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> the bull whisperer. Is that what you are? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't say that. Sunday afternoon, slinging, slinging mud, slinging minerals. This is how we do dates. soybean seed, Roundup Ready soybean seed, cheaper than we can get some other type of hay seed. So, and then if it don't make beans, you can cut it for hay, and if you want to cut it for hay, you can cut it for hay anyway. Okay, that makes good sense. Uh-huh. I know you always have a reason for everything you do. Sometimes I just don't know what it is to be able to answer people, that's all. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can I ask you one question that I thought was interesting? I don't know. You can ask it. I may not answer Okay, well, he said I could ask him. He might not answer it. I thought this was a good question. Someone said, if you had, like, if money was no object and you could make farm improvements, what would you do to the farm? Probably turn it into a hunting reserve. <laughs> okay. I knew it was going to be something like that. Well, that would be fun. A hunting preserve, not reserve. Preserve, reserve. Anyway. Preserve. Hmm. Just thought I said reserve. I said. Preserve. Oh, a hunting preserve. <laughs> For people to come hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get rid of the cows. Yeah. <laughs> They're so much fun. I know. I love a cow, but. I think that's the reason I still got them, because ain't no money in them. Well, money to get out of them. A lot of money in them, but it's hard to get it out of them. Yeah, that's true. All right, thanks for playing this version of Q&A. Everybody likes hearing from you, so I appreciate it. <laughs> 